Well, today we're going to look at uh, building a 3D printed model. Um, so this is uh, the Mandalorian and Grogu, Baby Yoda. Uh, and this was downloaded from a site called uh, Gambody. Gamebody? Not sure how it's pronounced. And they do a whole range of uh, 3D files. So uh, we've bought a few of them to have a play with. Uh, the good thing about their site is uh, you can scale it to different sizes and it breaks up the model into different chunks depending on what size you want so you can print it out at a large scale and like there's quite a few bits to the kit or you can print it out so this is about 1 16th something like that and it puts all the bits together so it puts like things on the legs so you don't have to glue them together um, but uh, it's really nice it printed up really well it required minimal um, sort of trimming so you get the legs really nice I mean the detail is superb I said a little bit of cleaning up needed and then you get the body and they've all got a peg and hole system that goes together really well and then oh, dropped him the Mando helmet Lovely detail, a little groggy. Maybe you uh, all cute. Uh, there's two different um, versions of the uh, the cape, so you can get one that's sort of all billowy, and then this one that's more just walking along. I went with this one because the billowy one looks a bit big. <clears throat> you get the two arms, um, separate pauldrons. Uh, he's carrying his trademark gun. The arms are really nicely done. Just one finger didn't come out. One little finger. That's our printer rather than the files. So I'm going to make that out of Milliput. You get his jet pack. You get a bag for carrying baby Yoda in. And you get various pouches to go on his belt and his legs. You get a whatever those things are on his belt. Uh, you get his gun. Uh, this one warped slightly because this end came off of the the bed so I'm going to have to heat it up, bend it slightly and then you also got a stand which we had to cut into two but it's really nice you don't generally get stands with these style models so it's really good um, yeah I think this the, the whole file for this and you get various sizes in it was I think about $24 uh, so it's about 18 quid which I think is a bargain for it and you can print it out how many other times you want you can do different bits, you can make it bigger, small, I do a little version of it. So really good value for money. I'll put the link in the description below. Uh, I think we also got a Homelander from the boys. And I think we got a Godzilla. I'm not sure that might be from a different site. But, but yeah, so what I'm first job on this is to tidy it up, just a bit of sandpaper, it doesn't need a lot. And then it's going to be a case of undercoating all the parts with uh, rattle can primer. I just use cheap Poundland stuff, it's really good. Uh, and then we can paint it. So that'll be the first job, is painting these. I'm going to stick these together, a bit of super glue to glue this together, and a tiny little bead of filler just along the line. Um, and then, yeah, it's going to be a case of undercoating and then painting. Fits so well. So, yeah, I'll do that now. Okay, well, I've undercoated all the parts as you can see and they come out really nicely so the detail on the any cubic print is pretty good very minimal banding you can just see see on this sort of glove part there but yeah minimal at this scale uh, so what I'm going to do now is mask off those parts that need to be Beskar so basically his um, greaves is it what I want to call them don't know his chest plates his helmet his pauldrons um, I'm also going to mask off the leg parts even though they are quite grubby in season two and they're quite stained but I'm going to do them silver and then dull them down um, so yeah that's what I'm going to do next
Okay, so I've undercoated, well, undercoated in black and then sprayed in chrome. It gives a nice finish. It's amazing how Beskar steel looks exactly like Poundland chrome spray. Um, so it's then just a case of peeling all the mask enough. I, I wasn't overly worried too much. I just wanted to keep the majority of the silver off of the the parts that are going to be painted another colour because acrylics just don't like going over chrome paint to be honest. Um, it's too shiny for it. So if I can keep it down to a minimum. There we go. So that's, see? Went quite well. So I'm going to get all the rest of this off and then we can come back and start painting. Okay, so the first part I'm going to do is to paint his so undershirt area and it's basically a sort of purplish browny grey so I'm going to use this a bit of Bugman's Glow mixed with some Rhinoxide. So I'm going to do the rest of that. Okay, so that's just drawn, so I'm going to paint his uh, fingers and gloves. So the gloves are black by the look of it, the fingers are an orangey colour. I'm going to do that on both hands and then paint the black. Okay, so I've started blocking colours in. So blocking the gun, the gloves. Uh, so I'm going to paint the boots now. So the bottom of the boots are sort of a, a lightish brown, so I'm just going to use my normal Mourn thing. I'll do the other boot, and then various various shades of brown on the boots, which I'll block in, and then come back. Okay, so this leg piece is actually sort of a, a greeny colour, but then with all the silver showing through it. So what I'm going to do is paint it over lightly in Warg Flesh and then uh, wipe it off. And I'm going to paint in all the straps and belts in dark brown. So I do that, we'll come back. Okay, so I'm going to paint the, uh, he's got various on his legs and body, he's got like, I presume ammo cartridges, uh, and they're silver, and I'm going to use uh, Vallejo silver, because it is really good, is he going to focus, he going to focus, there you go, really good stuff, um, I'll show you what I've done as well, all I've done is used some Rust wash, humble rust wash. Uh, I just run that very lightly over parts of his Besco armor just to dirty it down a little bit. Doesn't need a lot because he's, he's quite clean in season two. I'm just going to paint all of them. Okay, so. All the sub-assemblers are now 
blocked out with colours, so now it's a bit of dry brushing, a bit of detailing, some washes. Um, so what I'm going to do is use my Reichland flush shade just to do some of the, the shading. I might have to use black as well. So things like the the pouches. Just to give it a bit of shade, things like the boots. And I'm just gonna do that all over. It just gives it a bit of colour to it. Makes it a bit less shiny. I'm going to do that all over. Uh, I've undercoated the base as you saw, so that would get some washes as well and some dry brushing. And then also Baby Yoda. So I'm going to use green wash on that. Which I've got this green wash kicking about somewhere. So this is. Colia green shade. Hopefully that will work quite well as sort of a like a flesh shade but for froggy little people. Okay, so the parts are all now sort of dry. So what I'm gonna do is do a bit of um, light dry brushing, just a bit of weathering, just to bring it alive. Do that over all the pieces and then we can come back and hopefully assemble this fella. Okay, so everything's pretty much dry, just baby Yoda glue glue is uh, dry enough. Um, so what I'm gonna do is start sticking this fella together. So uh, the pauldrons go on the arms. The good thing about this is it a lot of it fits together so well, it's so well printed design that doesn't even need glue. And then the other one. body goes in but that will need glue so let's pop some super glue on that goes in like that Okay, so I'm going to let that dry. What I'll do is I'll glue the rest together. You get the idea of how it goes onto it. And then I'll pop them on the base and we'll have a look. When we come back, you'll be finished. Okay, well, he's all assembled. He looks pretty good, I think. So you got the baby Yoda. There's still a bit of... So I put some matte varnish over bits of it. So there's still a little bit there, but... I think that's a very nice model kit. Goes together well. My super glue is terrible. It's because I just plugged him on. He's got foot plugs, so I'll have to uh, super glue him in. Actually, I'll take him off the stand and show you. Yeah, you can see the detail is superb. So much stuff to paint. It's good fun painting it. You can go to town on the weathering if you want, if, you're, if you like doing the weathering stuff. Or you could do as little as you want. And it's nice that you get a base with him. So yeah, I'm really pleased with that one. Um, I've got a few more 3D printed kits. I've been buying a few off the site. So things like uh, Homelander. I'm going to be doing him. If you want to see them painted up, or you want to see me making them up or see videos, let me know in the comments. Uh, please like and subscribe. 
and thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time. Thanks then. Bye.